Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to capture and manage your tasks in MEV. But before we get started, I want to let you know that we're giving away the first module of our course, Maximum Output with MEM, for free. Just click on the link in the description below to learn more. Now let's get to the video. When you first start using tasks in MEM, it can be a little bit confusing, especially if you're used to other note-taking apps where everything is organized in the linear structure. And Madeline wrote in and asked me if I could do a video to explain how tasks work inside of MEM. Now, the most important thing to remember uh, and understand is that no matter where you capture a task inside of MEM, it's always going to show up inside of the task view. So you can see here that all of these are different tasks that I captured inside of different MEMS. Some of them are inside of the daily MEMS, some of them are inside of my project related MEMS. And so for example, something that happens often to me is that I'll be working on a blog post and then I'll realize that there's a task that I wanna complete that's related to that blog post. For example, in this case, I have insert Kotler story, which is a reference to some story that I read in one of Stephen Kotler's books. Now, if you don't remember what that task was referring to, all you have to do is press control enter and it will take you right to that task and you can see what the context of that task was. So that's really one of the nice things about MEM is that regardless of where you capture a task, it's always gonna be accessible from your task view. The other thing that's really nice in the task view is that you can also prioritize and schedule your tasks. So when you're scheduling your task, whatever is at the bottom is going to be the thing that shows up first. So for example, if you schedule something for 7 a.m., as you see here, it ends up being at the bottom. And if you schedule something for 2 p.m., it'll be above that. So that's basically how you use the task view. Now, obviously you can get overwhelmed by all these different tasks and there are a few different ways that you can filter. So for example, you can have it display open and completed tasks or only open tasks. You can also just hide things using hide or you can use these drop downs. So that way you don't have to worry about things that you're not currently working on. Uh, so that way it just doesn't becoming overwhelming because then otherwise you end up having all this different stuff that is going to just seem like you're never getting anything done. So I primarily tend to keep just the tasks for today open. And you can see here on my list of things to do today is record and publish this video. Now, while that can work quite well, just adding a tiny bit of structure can go a long way. So let's go back to my mem for this video. So I tend to break up tasks into four main categories. And one thing to keep in mind is that your tasks will overlap between all of these categories and that's where the task view comes in handy. So look, let's look at daily tasks. So one thing you'll see if you go to one of my daily mems, uh, like the mem for today, is <clears throat> that I had the daily mem template set up so that I have one of my instructions to capture any additional tasks that I want to complete for today. And a really good way to make use of this is something like a morning routine. So for example, if you want to meditate, exercise, and read 20 pages, you can then just go and go inside of your flows and then configure your daily mem so that it has meditate, exercise, and read as tasks that you want to complete every day. But I find by writing down everything I want to finish in a month or a week, I'm able to keep my projects on track. So for example, you can see here that I created something called November tasks, which just has all the things that I want to finish in November. And like I said, that's optional. It's not necessarily something that you have to do. Now let's talk about project related tasks. What I like to do is to capture all of my tasks for a specific project inside a mem for that project. So what happens when you're working on something in another mem and you don't remember to capture it in that particular project? Fortunately, given how mem is built, that's actually not that big a deal uh, because you can just do something as simple as capture that task with a bi-directional link. So for example, I could say task or record video for maximum output with mem. And if I go to maximum output with mem and I look at the related notes, which in this case, there are lots, but if you don't have as many notes as I do, then one of the things you'll see is that within that mem that you captured the task in, it'll be automatically linked. So that way you don't actually have to worry about this. So 
you can capture tasks anywhere inside of mem. And you can see here right there, video using tasks inside of mem. And there it is. So it's automatically linked to the project page just by using a bidirectional link. Uh, you can also use tags, but I think bidirectional links are actually better because tags can get really overwhelming and people tend to use them a bit too gratuitously. But overall, managing tasks in mem is a bit counterintuitive because of the fact that the way that we're taught to typically capture tasks is linear, and that actually is not necessary inside of mem, simply because of the fact that anywhere you capture a task, it's always going to be inside of your task view. And that's why I think mem is really the ultimate tool to make sure that you never forget anything. And you can see here that I have a bunch of different tasks for today, all of which are scheduled, but all of those are just coming from my daily mem. So that's the basic overview of how to capture and complete your tasks inside of mem. As always, feel free to leave comments in the video below. I'll also include a link to the form for any requests for future video tutorials on how to use mem.